Greetings everyone, and welcome to another one of my hidden gems. These are videos where I show you some of the lesser known cool spots of St. Petersburg that I've come across in my years of living here. Today I wanted to show you the path along the Smolenka River between two cemeteries, the Smolenskaya Pravoslavnaya Kladbyshya, which is the largest cemetery on Vasilevsky Island, and the Kladbyshya Ostrov Dikabristov. Here's the aerial view. We'll be walking from the southwest to the northeast, then turn around and come right back. This path is especially beautiful in the fall, which is when I film this. We had such a beautiful fall season in 2020 that I just can't help posting several videos featuring the vibrant fall colors. It's too wonderful not to share. As you can see, the path is only about 0.35 miles, so it's a quick walk. I didn't discover this path until several years of living here. As you can tell by the beginning of the video, you may not realize there's a path here until you keep on following it along the river. So here you can see a section of the path that has been shored up a bit. Not even a year ago, this was a dangerous part of the path because it had eroded into the river, making it difficult to pass. But it's now been fortified and is much safer. Across the river here is the Smolenskaya Pravoslavnaya Kladbyshya. So on the left hand side we have the Kladbyshya Ostrov Dikabristov. This part of the cemetery is a little less maintained than the front part, which is where we're headed right now. Watch out! Incoming crow! Man, bold little guy. One interesting thing of note, if you go back and see the map image of this area, you'll see that the metro's green line passes through underneath us somewhere around here. So at some point, we're actually walking over the metro tunnel. So now we're coming up on the more maintained part of the cemetery, and it includes a monument coming up. You can see the four torpedoes sticking out there. So let's go check out what it says. This is a monument to a medium-sized submarine, the Shuka 323, which served in the Red Banner Baltic Fleet in the Soviet-Finnish War and during World War II, it was awarded the Order of the Red Star for its involvement. It and its crew were sunk by a proximity mine in May 1943 in the Morskoy Canal. The crew members killed were laid to rest in a mass grave here. The names of its crew members are listed on the monument built over their remains. That's one of my favorite things about St. Petersburg. History is everywhere. There are several mass graves within the cemetery for some of the many who died during the siege.
All right, now it's time to head back. Since I've already given you the tour, I'll stay quiet and let you enjoy the vibrant fall colors. Thanks for watching. I hope you can see why I consider this path a hidden gem. Marianne and I are trying to grow our channel, so we'd appreciate it if you would subscribe, like, comment, and share this or any of our other videos. Do svidanya, naši